Uh, I think it's just the, um, the fact that we really believe in it. And we have a way of coaching the system. Um, and I think it's just the system that we really believe in. We're never going to you know, go from um, these plays to other plays that we're just going to continue with what we believe in. I think that's the, the most important part is we have a lot of confidence in the way we teach it and the way it's, you know, called on game day. In terms of getting one different guys developed, how difficult was this season? Well, um, it was a difficult um, season just simply because we had so much change throughout the year um, with, you know, obviously with Devontae not being out there early. Um, and then, you know, we had Will playing. Will got injured down in Florida. We had the tragedy with Reggie and his family. And then Reggie came back and played for us. Then Will came back with Devontae. Then Will got injured again. You know, so it's, a, it's just, it was a lot that went on. But I think when um, we have, as a staff, we have the confidence in our system. Um, we really believe in the way we teach it. And our kids really did a good job of just trusting in what we were teaching, and I think that's why we continue to get better. Does it make it easier when you're playing together to know that realistically you have three quarterbacks that can execute well in the situation? Well, it doesn't make it easy because you still got to run out there and play against, you know, one of the top programs in the country. But, um, you know, it, it does make me feel good um, that our kids really pay attention in the meeting room. And um, when circumstance demanded someone else to come in and come through for our team and our program, then they were prepared to do it. I think that's what, um, you know, what put the smile on my face when Kyle got out there against Kentucky, that he had been plan paying attention, he understood the game plan, and he was emotionally at a point where he can go out there and perform for us. Yeah, um, you know, he's, they've all done a really good job of just really trusting in, you know, there's a difference. When a new staff comes in, um, there's a different terminology, there's different plays, there's different demands on the quarterback. Um, and all of those guys are young, they hadn't played before. Um, but they really just, you know, trusted what we were teaching them, you know, in the meeting room, on the practice field, and then ultimately on the sideline during the games, the things that we talk about. I just think they, they trust in what we teach and, um, you know, it showed up when we got out there. Well, you know, um, one of his strengths is he can run. He's really, you know, he's an athletic kid. So um, we just got to make sure he's at the point where he can run and be efficient running the football um, so that he can protect himself. Uh, we don't want to you know, put him at risk of further injury because the off season is going to be really important for Reggie, you know, to get ready to play for us next year. Um, so we just got to, you know, see that he can get on the field and do what he naturally does, you know, which is make plays throwing the ball. But when things break down, he can sneak out and run. Um, that's what we got to make sure. Yeah, that's right. We're, we're just, um, you know, about a month ago, they were saying that was going to be one of the four teams that, you know, was going to be in. Um, they're very talented defensive front. Um, I think they have one of the best pass rushers in the country. Um, big, physical, experienced linebackers. And they play a lot of man coverage in the secondary. So they don't give you any easy completions. You have to work for every completion you get. Um, you know, and then they have a, a really good pressure package to force your quarterback to understand what he's doing with protections and where to go with the ball. Um, so it's, it's definitely going to be a challenge for us, but um, we've been preparing for it. We're up for the challenge. Uh, we want to go out and, you know, get our seniors this 10th win. How has that You know, not really. Um, I've been talking to recruits a lot lately and you know, the thing, we had a lot of recruits on campus um, for that game. And one of the kids said to me, um, you know, it's amazing you got to your third quarterback and you were throwing the ball really more than you were running it. And he threw for over 300 plus yards. So we just, again, we have a way of doing things. We have a philosophy that we believe in. We force all of these quarterbacks to understand what we're doing and really concentrate on their technique. Um, so it's not going to change what we're going to do. Um, we just got to make sure we got, you know, the right guys on the field. And another thing that's important is making sure everyone around the quarterback is playing at a high level. I think that's what gives us a chance. The plays that 
would not call for time if you call for raising the bus fees? Well, I, you know, I don't think so. There, there, there could be more of an emphasis on certain things. Um, you know, if Reggie's in or if Kyle's in, but these are the same plays we're running, you know, um, when I played for Coach way back in the day. Um, so we're not going to change um, what we're doing. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, the, the best part about, you know, making it to a bowl that's, um, you know, right around New Year's is you get a, some pr extra practice sessions. And we do, I think Coach does a good job of keeping us out there after practice. We have what we call um, rookie practices. Um, and they're really for the quarterback development, the guys that did not play much during the year. And um, we got more quarterbacks in the room that are really good players also um, that didn't get to play this year. So. And they're getting a lot of work, um, you know, throughout the bowl preparation. And um, you're right, spring ball is going to be fun. It's, you know, it's, it's going to be competitive because everyone's going to have to show up with their A game every day. But those guys are all really good friends. And we really just want to make sure we put a guy on the field that gives us a chance to win. And I think they're all committed to that. Well, I mean, you guys know that Klonakis is one of the best um, offensive line coaches out there. Um, we've won a lot of games together, you know, myself, Kay, and um, coached a lot of huge games. Um, and, and what he does is just continue with the process, you know, just continue to push. And I think you saw that our offensive line developed each and every week and got to a point where, you know, they were one of the major reasons that you know, we were able to win those games at the end. Uh, that was tough um, for the players. You know, yeah, that was tough for those guys because I recruited most of those guys and, you know, convinced them that coming there would be the best thing for them. And ultimately, that um, ended up not necessarily being true. So that was tough for me. Um, I just, um, I just really, you know, felt bad for those players. Um, I felt bad for the coaching staff also because as coaches. You always look to other coaches, and you know we all have this fraternity of coaches. We understand what it's like to be away from our family. We understand the pressure that goes into coaching at this level. Um, so you always feel for the coaching staff, but the players was my main, you know, focus and the reason, um, you know, I was disappointed. How much of a disadvantage are schools like that at when they've got teams like Alabama and Auburn in the same state? Does that play any effect? I don't think so because. Um, you know, as long as you're not in the same conference as those guys, things are okay. And in that situation, you know, they play in a different conference than Auburn and Alabama. So I don't, I think if you understand who you are, who you're competing against, and you really concentrate on that, then I don't think it's a problem at all. As an offensive coordinator, what does your spot for you win three games with three different quarterbacks? We have four running backs with a 100 yard game. I mean, it's kind of been crazy in both, in both positions for you that you've had multiple guys do it, which, which ones? You know, I don't know, man. I, I don't really think of it like that. I'm just um, really, we're just concentrating on winning one game at a time. Just find a way to win. That's what it was all about, regardless of who's on the field, regardless of who gets hot, if there's an injury, um, you know, regardless if we're behind, if we're ahead, just find a way to win. And I think I'm, that's why I'm proud, you know, just for our whole squad, um, you know, that early in the season, our defense really held us in there and gave us opportunities. Um, and then we finally got our offense in tune and things going well. Um, and then we had the um, sticky fingers, I call them, um, the interception machine back there making plays for us, giving us more opportunities to score touchdowns. And I'm just proud of this team for sticking together through all the ups and downs. Um, they stuck together and kept rolling. And now we're in position to get 10 wins for our senior class. Um, I don't quite, uh, well, it's, it's a, um, it's a pretty major impact. Yeah. That you have to watch your calls. You have to watch your defensive calls because he is standing out there and it's hard to defend him one-on-one. -on -one. I think that's the bottom line. Uh, and I think that Kyle got to a point in the game where 
you know, if he's one on one, throw him the ball. And if they double him, then go somewhere else. But if he gets, if he's one on one, throw it to him. And I think that's what Reggie figured out late in that Notre Dame game that he was out there one on one, throw it to him. Um, so he is a tremendous football player, like we've said. Everybody knows, um, but he definitely, um, you know, um, forces the defensive coordinator to think about certain pressures. How much of Monte's game is intimidation? As in, when the team knows he steps out of the field, that's the best player on the field. Is intimidating? I don't know if guys are intimidated anymore. I just think you got to. Um, be careful with um, you know what you're doing because he is one of the best players in college football, and a one-on-one -on -one matchup with him, there's a good chance he could win. So I, I don't know that it's intimidation. I just think that um, it's like when you have a really good pass rusher, and you're an offensive coach. You know that if you slide that protection away from him, that guy might sack your quarterback. So you have to keep that in mind at all times um, when you have a kid you know as, as as good as he is out there on the field. Well, I think that, um, you know, what not many people know is that Brandon is a very powerful kid. You know, he's a, I think he's over 650 pounds in squat. Um, you know, he's a very strong athlete. He, he looks little when he's out there, but he's a powerful kid. And I think that is what gives him the opportunity to break tackles. And, you know, he's very competitive, um, very tough guy. Um, and when you add that with his explosiveness and his strength, that it gives him a chance to break a lot of tackles.